which means hello and welcome in Greek to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a barbecue chicken that's ready with just three ingredients, ready in no time and it's perfect for meal prep because you can just use it to put into sandwiches, salads or just eat it like that. It's so good. Dip it in with some tzatziki sauce and you are good to go. I would like to thank my good friends over at Suchi Spices for sending me their delicious spice rub. It's a barbecue spice rub that has so much flavor. It's made with really pure ingredients. It's gluten free. It is also MSG free and super healthy. Check it out. Use the coupon code below underneath this video to get it at 20% off. It's a limited time offer just for my viewers. So you're going to want to check it out. Let's get started with making this recipe. So today I'm using chicken breast, the tenders, which are so easy and quick to barbecue. They're ready in under 10 minutes, but you can definitely use any cut of chicken that you like. As a matter of fact, this barbecue rub tastes great also on seafood and even on vegetables. So get creative with it and let me know how you're making it down below. I wash my chicken and I put it in a pan over some paper towel so that way it can be nice and dry. It's going to get rid of the paper towel now because it's time to season. And you want to spread the chicken out all in one even layer. So all we need is three ingredients. That's why I love this recipe. I make a big batch of this and I keep the chicken in the fridge and then I put it over salads. I make little shawarmas out of it, pita sandwiches, and it tastes even good over pasta and even with rice. First, I begin by drizzling a little bit of olive oil over the chicken. This is going to help the marinade stick. And then lemon juice. Lemon juice brightens it up and just adds such great flavor. I'm going to use the juice of one and a half lemons because this is a lot of chicken. And I'm just going to toss the chicken all around the lemon and olive oil so that way it can get coated. And then back to one layer it goes. I've made this using chicken thighs. I've also put it on drumsticks and even on big chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts work really well. And they all came out so delicious. My favorite though are these chicken tenders, but also the chicken breast comes out really juicy with this marinade. And now the last thing is the barbecue rub. It's going to make it slightly sweet, smoky, a tiny pinch. It has a tiny pinch of heat in it. Does, it has just the right amount of salt and it's totally up to you how much you're going to put. I do recommend uh, making one or two strips first and coating it just with a little bit to see how you like the spice and if you want more. And then you can go ahead and season all the rest of it because you can season the chicken put it in the fridge for a few hours and then grill it later on so it can have maximum flavor. And I make sure that I season both sides. So flip the chicken over and put the rub on the other side as well. And just like that, the chicken is done. It's marinated and it's ready. There is so much flavor in this uh, barbecue rub that you can grill it right away and it'll be delicious. But if you have a little bit of time, stick this in the refrigerator for two to three hours and let it sit so that way the marinade can penetrate through the chicken and it'll be even more tasty. Once you're ready to grill it, let the meat come to room temperature if you've refrigerated it because you never want to put cold meat on a grill. It'll just not work. <laughs> it's always better to put room temperature meat on a grill and light your grill up over medium heat. Medium high heat is fine and then grill it, turning it often every like two, three minutes until it's perfectly cooked. Chicken is cooked when the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Every time I make it, it's really done in about 10 minutes, but use your, use your judgment. And if you have a meat thermometer, use that too. So that way you can get it right and you don't overcook it. If you overcook breast meat, it tends to dry out and you never want to eat undercooked poultry. So that's important. So the chicken is ready. At this point, what I like to do if I'm meal prepping is make a few sauces. So I have some tzatziki sauce, which of course, if, you follow, if you've been following me long enough, you know that I love it. I could eat this thing with a spoon. So creamy and delicious. If you want the recipe for that, I've used it in many videos. I'll put it in this card right here, as well as in the link in, underneath the description box. You're definitely going to want to try it if you haven't. It's a cucumber and yogurt Greek sauce that tastes good on everything. But I'm also going to make a shawarma sauce. Now the shawarma sauce is basically what you would get in a shawarma. It's like that garlicky creamy sauce that they put in the sandwiches that tastes so good. I have some yogurt here with a little bit of grated garlic. And to that, um, I'm going to add some lemon juice. The juice of half a lemon should be enough if it's a juicy lemon. Makes it nice and bright. And then a lot of uh, shawarma sauces, when you get them from the store, are made strictly with mayonnaise and garlic. And that's why it tastes so heavy and makes you feel almost sick once you're done eating it. But I like to put just a little bit of mayonnaise in the yogurt just for some richness. So I'm going to put 
Two tablespoons should be good. These are heaping tablespoons, by the way. And I'm just gonna whisk this all up. You can also add a little bit of sour cream if you want. You could do like half yogurt, half sour cream. And if you have sumac, which is a really nice Mediterranean spice, I guess, it's very tangy and delicious, you could sprinkle some on top once it's done. And that's it. The sauce is really that simple. You can taste it. And if you need some salt or pepper, you can go ahead and add some in. But this sauce stays fresh in the refrigerator for days, as does the chicken. The chicken will stay fresh for about three or four days. And you can definitely take it with you to work and put it over a salad. You can make a sandwich like we're going to do right now. I'll show you how to make a nice wrap with it. But before we do that, let's make a salad first. I have some Roman lettuce over here with some chopped up cucumbers and some tomatoes. Of course you can throw in some bell peppers and whatever your favorite vegetables are in a salad. And I like to put, it already has some olive oil in it, I like to put a big scoop of tzatziki on the side. Tzatziki is like ranch for me, that's how much I love it. And then I have some dried oregano which I'm just going to crumble on top because these are leaves that we dried from our backyard and they're not really crumbled. And then I'm just going to put a few strips of chicken on top. And just like that, lunch or dinner is ready. Look at how healthy and delicious that looks. That is done. Next, we're gonna make a nice wrap. And now it's time for the wrap. Now you can make this in pita bread or tortilla. I have a store-bought tortilla here that I'm using because we're completely out of pita. And mine is actually rising in the laundry machine, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean if you watch my show. So I'm gonna put a little bit or a lot of it, <laughs> a lot of the sauce because I just love it. And then I have some sh salad here. This is just some shredded lettuce with just mixed salad that I bought ready-made from the supermarket just to make life easy. And then I love pickles in my shawarma, so I'm gonna put a few pickles in here. And then you can chop up the chicken, it depends on what you're using, or you can just put two chicken tenders, for, like the ones that I made, that's why I love using these, they're just so simple, on top, and then drizzle some more of that luscious garlicky sauce on top, fold that over, and if it doesn't close, you know that it's a good shawarma or a good pita, and there you have it. Who would not want to open up a packet of this on their lunch break and just enjoy it and eat it? Easy peasy, so simple, that's a second way that you could eat this chicken. And the third way is so delicious, it's a gluten-free way, using my cumin and rice pilaf that I make in my rice cooker. I made this, let me stop making noise, I made this recipe for my chicken drumsticks, my Mediterranean chicken drumsticks, and you guys all commented how much you loved it because it's so simple to make so loaded with flavor. I'm going to put that card up here so you can check that recipe out. And the link to the printable recipe is going to be in the description box. But the rice is aromatic and flavorful. And along with this chicken and some tzatziki, it is a meal that will please everyone. And there you have it a three ingredient, absolutely out of this world, barbecue chicken that is a definite crowd pleaser. It'll please every single person in your house. So simple to make and three delicious ways to serve it. Make sure you check out the coupon code down below so you can get yourself some at 20% off. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. A printable version of this recipe is on DemetriusDishes.com. All, and all of the ingredients and quantities of this recipe are in the description box down below. I hope you guys give this a try. Now it's time for the taste test. I'm just gonna taste the chicken because I, I could eat all three of these, but it's not the best idea, so I'll save these so that, that way the family can eat these. Right after I'm done with this video, I also have to take pictures, and then we're gonna have a feast. Unbelievable. That spice rub is just the way I like it. Very smoky, a tiny hint of sweetness, the perfect amount of spice, because you know I like a little bit of spice in my life. <laughs> this has the perfect amount. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this. I hope you give it a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I will see you all next time. Yes,